All right, here's what we're gonna do today. I wanna see what you would choose in these situations. Here's the first situation. You see someone getting picked on at school. All your friends are picking on this one person. Do you choose to join in or do you choose not to be a part of it? All right, how about this one? Your parents tell you something that you don't wanna hear. Do you choose to fly off the handle and throw a fit and argue with them? Or you just choose to accept it? Today we're talking about choices. And you're gonna see how Madeline and Haley have a choice to make in this week's episode of Skated Off. Good choices aren't always easy to make. You gotta make them quick, and you can't overthink them. When I was in the X Games, I had to make hard decisions in a split second. One bad choice, and it was over. My choices, they're made out of instinct. They're part of me. I didn't have time in the heat of battle to figure out how to make right decisions. I had to be someone who made right decisions. Because the difference between winning and losing, it can come down to just one choice. And I believe if your character's strong, your choices, they'll be even stronger. Now let's go skate it out. Hey, Madeline, you're just the person I wanted to see. Did I do something wrong? No. In fact, I'm really impressed with how you've turned it around recently. So I've got this promotional event I'd have to go to, and I don't have time to get to the bank to drop off the money, so do you think you could take this to the bank for me? Yes! I, mm, yeah, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll handle this appropriately. Awesome, I know you will. Thanks, Madeline. I need to put this somewhere safe so I don't lose it. Hey, Madeline, are you almost finished? Uh, yeah, what's up? I need to go restock the foot spray, but it's in the storage room. Could you go with me? Yeah, but we, we've gotta be quick. I, I need to go to the bank for Tim. We'll be super quick. I just hate going in there by myself. I hear you. Let's go. That. I always feel like something's living in there. I agree. It's always creepy. I think it's box trolls. Well, I'm gonna get my stuff and head out. I think I still have time to make it to the bank. Okay. What's wrong? I can't find it. Can't find what? It's gone. I've lost it. Lost what? It. I really don't know what it is. It's the money. It's gone. Are you kidding? How? <laughs> okay, if I knew how, do you think I'd be freaking out right now? No. Um, uh, maybe we dropped it in the storage room? Yeah, let's go check. Okay. Well, I'm dead. The money couldn't have just disappeared. I screwed up really bad. Now Tim's gonna have to close the rink he won't want to pay his bills and the tax collectors will come board up the place. Don't worry, we'll find it. Mr. Owens gave me a huge responsibility and I totally blew it. He couldn't have just vanished. Maybe A.V. will know what to do. Sure. He's gone. He left. We're all alone. Maybe we should just call Mr. Owens and tell him what happened. We can't do that. I don't want him to know I messed up. He's gonna be really angry. No, he's not. Remember, it's all about choices. Owning up for your mistake is a good choice. Maybe. Let, let's try calling Ivy first. He left his phone. 
course. Before we freak out, let's just um, retrace your steps. Okay. You really think this will work? I hope so. Go slower. I literally can't go any slower. If I go any slower, I'll be standing still. Sorry, I was only trying to help. But you're freaking me out. I need some air. Oh no. We're, we're locked in. What? <laughs> this is bad, like, like really bad. Like, like over the moon off the charts bad. We're, we're done. Let's just call Tim and tell him what happened. I can't do that. He'll fire me like Cody. Trust me, Tim will understand. If we just tell him the truth, it'll be okay. <laughs> Would you be understanding if I lost all of your money? Let's check one more time. Okay. I give up. I'm gonna get fired. It's nice working with you, Haley. No, you're not. You're going to own up for your mistake and call him. So what happened? I'm so sorry, Mr. Owens. I screwed up. H how'd you screw up? I lost the pouch. Whoa, dude. Oh, no, 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 no. The pouch isn't lost. What? I deposited it. Okay, well, like, the scary banker lady, she deposited it, but I, like, took the pouch there and gave it to her and she deposited it. How is that even possible? She works there? Oh, the pouch, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, I found it. It was like, like a lost puppy, like a lost money puppy, so I, I took it to the bank. And I just figured, like, you lost it, like, dude, I lost my phone. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have a panic attack. So you've had it this entire time. Oh, man, she's handing it right back to me. No, I meant the pouch. Oh, no, man, I just had it from when I took it to the bank. I am so irresponsible. I should never be trusted. But at least you made the right decision and called me. I did? Look. Leaving the pouch unintended was a really big mistake, but you owned up to it and called me. You know, it's like I told you, choices come out of character, and you have enough good character to write a novel. Thanks, Mr. Owens. Sure. So, you know, we had a big scare today. What do you say we grab some skates and go skate it out? Today we just saw that Madeline lost the money. And in that moment, she had a choice to make. She could either cover it up and not tell Tim and try and figure out how to get out of trouble, or she could tell Tim and make things right. And as we saw, she chose the right thing. That's what a person with good character does. They choose to do the right thing. They're not thinking about how to get out of trouble or, or what ways they can get around certain situations. A person with good character thinks about what the right thing to do is and they make that right choice. Let me give you some examples of what a person with good character looks like. A person with good character would choose not to cheat on a test, even though they may want to. A person with good character won't talk back and argue with their parents. A person with good character won't lie, they'll be honest. A person with good character isn't gonna figure out ways to get out of trouble, but do the right thing. That's what people with good character do. Look at what it says in the Bible in Philippians 4.8. It says this, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, Think about such things. You see, a person with good character, a person with godly character, thinks about those things, focuses on those things that we just read in that Bible verse. And they use those things as the foundation for the choices that they make. So let me ask you this question. Would you consider yourself to be a person who makes good choices often, or do you tend to make bad choices often? If you wanna be a person who has good character, 
It starts with making one right choice. All you have to do is choose one time to do the right thing, and then that's gonna kinda keep going and moving, and then you're gonna find yourself making the right choice the next time, and the next time, and then you look back and you realize that you've been always making the right choices, and you'll realize that you are in fact a person of good character. So the next time you find yourself in a situation where you have a choice to make, my prayer for you is that you will allow your godly character to come through so much so that you will choose to do what's right.